From reptilian giants to ferocious apex predators, here are 10 animals that have gone extinct in the last century. Number 10. Unfortunately for the Pinta Island tortoise, in the zero-sum game for survival in the animal kingdom, slow and steady loses the race. These giant tortoises were once endemic to Ecuador's Pinta Island. And it's reported that when the great Charles Darwin first saw them, that he was completely shell-shocked. Boom! <laughs> the Pinta Island tortoise knew the benefits of taking it easy as it would rest up to 16 hours every day. Life in the slow lane suited it well as it was able to go without food or water for up to six months. Like other Galapagos giants, they were top herbivores, mainly feeding on grasses, greens, cactus pads, and native fruits. Some of the largest on record grew to be over 880 pounds and more than six feet long. <laughs> in the 19th century, whalers and fishermen caught these tortoises for food, driving them to the brink of extinction. Then, humans introduced goats to the island, because why not? It's not an island if it doesn't have goats. The goats ate all of the vegetation that the tortoises would have eaten. And without food, the tortoises disappeared forever. Pop quiz, hot shot! What do you think is the most common reason that an animal goes extinct? See if you can guess the correct answer in the comments below and stay tuned till later in the video to see if you're right. Number nine. Coming in at number nine was once the world's spiciest bear, the Mexican grizzly bear. This was once among the muy largest and muy heaviest mammals in Mexico. Because of its silvery fur, locals used to refer to the Mexican grizzly bear by the tongue-rolling name of El Oso Plateado, which translates as silvery bear. While smaller than its Canadian or U.S. grizzly counterparts, it wasn't any less terrifying. They were so brazen that they would hunt cattle, which is why farmers regarded them as unbearable pests. <laughs> is this thing on? Check, check. As a result, they were captured and eliminated by these farmers. Sad! The Mexican grizzly bears are now presumed terminado, with the last specimen having been shot in 1976. Number 8. West African black rhinos were once widespread in the sub-Saharan savanna, but surveys as recent as 2006 were unsuccessful in finding remaining specimens. They're pretty hard to miss since they're basically nature's version of the T90 tank. Like other rhinos, this subspecies has two horns, the largest of which could grow up to five feet long. This beautiful distinguishing feature is what led to heavy poaching of the western black rhino. You could say that the horn was a real thorn in their side. Stupid. Ground up rhino horn is believed to hold all matter of properties in traditional Chinese medicine. This includes the ability to cure cancer or even increase virility if you don't have any lead in the pencil. <laughs> These claims of course have in no way been scientifically proven to be true. Moreover, the horn is made out of keratin, so you might as well clip your fingernails and make tea out of them for the same supposed effect. Not that I'm suggesting that. Remember our fingernails video? It's pretty much a microbial paradise under there. Number seven. The Barbary lion was also known as the North African lion, and this ferocious feline went extinct in the mid-1960s. Hunter reports from the 19th century describe the Barbary lion as the largest of its kind. This big cat deserves to be lionized. Boom! Male specimens reached weights of up to 660 pounds. Some argue that the proportions were exaggerated and that the Barbary lion may have been similar to the Asiatic lion. Its mane was possibly longer and darker in colder regions like the Atlas Mountains. Whatever the case might be, this creature's ferocity is undebatable. An ancient Egyptian goddess called Sekhmet was depicted with the head of a Barbary lion. Now I'm not saying that this feature was intended to strike fear into the hearts of the wicked, but the goddess did represent destructive power. It's also worth a mention that Roman gladiators used to battle Barbary lions in the Colosseum. Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? The few gladiators that did manage to survive were left with a little more than a few kitty scratches. Kevin, I oh, didn't see you there. Hope you're enjoying the video. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. That way you won't miss any of our new content and it helps other people find the channel.
You're great, you're great, you're great. Number six. Is it a rat? Is it a kangaroo? The answer is both and neither. The desert rat kangaroo was an eccentric creature that once walked the earth. It looked like a kangaroo and was generally formed like one, but had the bulk of a tiny little rabbit. Cute! It was a marsupial, complete with the distinctive pouch, and it moved around by hopping. It had a long, slender tail, as well as rounded ears and a short naked nose, features probably responsible for the rat part of its common name. The desert rat kangaroo seems to be playing hide and seek with extinction. First spotted in the 1840s, it was believed to be extinct until 1931, when it was rediscovered. Then it was once again declared extinct in 1994, but an unconfirmed sighting was reported in 2011. It holds the distinction of being the only mammal to be recovered and then lost again. So if you ever find yourself in Australia, the creature's native habitat, be on the lookout. I have a feeling the fascinating desert rat kangaroo is still out there somewhere, defying the odds. Number five, the brightly colored Carolina parakeet was once the only indigenous parrot within its range of the Midwest, Eastern, and Plain states of the US. Most of its plumage was green, while its head was bright yellow with an orange forehead. Now this bird was tougher than your average polywana cracker type parrot. It lived farther north than any other parrot, including regions of New York, New England, and Wisconsin. Crack, king of the north! As with other creatures on our list, its extinction wasn't without a human touch. The main reason behind it was the deforestation in the 18th and 19th centuries. The last known specimen died in captivity at the Cincinnati Zoo in 2018. Number four. After over five years of looking for any remaining Caribbean monk seals, the U.S. declared it extinct in 2008. These robust-bodied creatures grew to be almost 600 pounds and 8 feet long. They were brown or grayish in color and, like other monk seals, had a distinctive head and face. It might have been known as the sea wolf, but the seal was nothing like the tenacious hunter it was named after. Caribbean monk seals were curious and non-aggressive, which made them perfect targets for the planet's all-time super predator, Bill Cosby. <laughs> Just kidding, humans. The demand for seal blubber in the past few centuries meant that they were pretty much hunted around the clock. This aspect and overfishing of their food sources are the main factors behind its extinction. Number three, Caspian tiger. This remarkable creature is among the largest felines to ever have existed. That's saying something when considering that big cats are among the planet's most prolific predators. When compared to the Siberian tiger, the Caspian tiger's fur was generally brighter and more uniform. Some individuals achieved mind-numbing proportions. One specimen shot in 1899 was 11.8 feet in total length, with a skull more massive than the largest Siberian tiger. According to Russian zoologist Konstantin Satunin, it was about the size of a horse. Such a huge creature would have given even the saber-toothed tiger a run for its stripes. Number two, Guam flying fox. Next up in our deceptive animal name category, we have the Guam flying fox. It's actually a bat. <laughs> it was endemic to Guam in the Marianas Islands. The bat's wingspan was about 28 inches and it weighed an average of 5.4 ounces. Its back, throat, and underparts were dark brown, while the sides of its neck were golden brown. Dracula fans might be disappointed to find that this wasn't a vampire bat, as it mostly fed on flowers, fruits, and foliage. The Guam flying fox hasn't been sighted since the 1970s, and loss of its habitat is believed to be the main reason behind its extinction. It's answer time! According to National Geographic, the two primary factors that have caused species extinction are loss of habitat and loss of genetic variation. Loss of habitat can happen naturally. For instance, the dinosaurs lost their habitat 65 million years ago when an asteroid struck the Earth. Human activity also contributes to loss of habitat. Development for housing, agriculture, and industry all reduce the habitat of native organisms. The second main contributing factor to extinction is loss of genetic variation. This diminishes a species' ability to resist disease. Inbreeding is a primary cause for loss of genetic variation. Mmm, looks like X-Hamster has become popular in the animal kingdom. 
animals will breed with close family members, either naturally or due to overhunting by humans. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell button to get notified of new videos, and we always appreciate a big thumbs up. Number 1. The thylacine, also known as the Tasmanian tiger, is perhaps the strangest animal on our list. It's the kind of creature at which you need to look twice just to make sure it's real. Judging by its appearance, you'd think that someone took features from several different animals and just pressed randomize. <laughs> it's one of the largest known carnivorous marsupials, meaning that it belongs to the same family as the kangaroo, koala, or the previously mentioned desert rat kangaroo. Yet, unlike its more peaceful plant-eating family members, this creature was a formidable apex predator that could open its jaws jaws to a staggering 80 degrees. The thylacine borrowed features from both the tiger and the wolf. It resembled a large, short-haired dog with a tail similar to that of a kangaroo and stripes on its back like a tiger. Like most marsupials, thylacine females also had the trademark pouch. The last known living thylacine was captured in Tasmania in 1933. Habitat loss and overhunting by humans are some of the main reasons behind its extinction. 